So this video is going to help you, dear students, on how you can convert your approved and yeah, approved research instrument into a Google form. Since you need to conduct your survey or administer your instrument to get the feel, a real feel of how it is to conduct a research, and it is unsafe for you to conduct or administer your RI in person, <coughs> sorry, in person or face-to-face. -face. So I suggest that you convert your RI to Google Forms and hopefully this video is going to help you do that. So these are just the basics of Google Forms. If you have any more questions by the end of the video, just comment and I will respond, okay? So let's start. The only thing you need to create a Google form is a Gmail account, an active Gmail account because your Google form will go into your account. So if you already have your Gmail account, so only one member of the group needs to do this, okay? So when you already have your Google or your Gmail account, go to Google and in the search tab, simply type in Google Forms and it's going to bring you here and choose the second link, Google Forms free online surveys for personal use and click Forms. It will direct you to the Google Form interface. So when you're already here on this window, click blank because we will be starting from scratch. So blank, click that one. And voila, this will, or this is how your window is going to look like. So in the untitled form section, write the title of your research. So for example, the title of my research is Relationship Between Stress Level and Academic Success. Okay, let's just pretend. So here... In the form description, I suggest that you type in the letter here. Please type the letter to your respondents. Respondents located on the uppermost portion of your approved. RI. So on top of your RI, there's a short letter to your respondents, right? Explaining the title of your research and what your general goal is for the research. So you put it here in this section below. So once you're done with that, start with your part one, the part one of your RI, which is basically your profile. So usually we start with name. So you type in name, optional and choose so if you click this part right here the arrow here choose short answer because there's going to be varied answers and because our name is optional we don't need to require it okay so okay na ang name optional so if you need to add another question because you have another variable for your study or as part of your profiling click this plus button add question and another empty um, question tab will come up. So next, let's say you have grade and section. So if you want them to type in their section, you choose short answer. But if you already have choices for them, you choose multiple choice. So for example, 12 alumens. 12 Julian 12 so these are the cookery sections in school chiffonade so all they need to do is to choose okay okay you've already given the choices ginhatag mo na ang choices for them but if gusto mo ya gusto mo nga sila ang matype sang ilang a question so asang ilang answer just choose short answer okay so this time kilanlan mo gini for your profiling so click 
turn on the required. So, when something, when an information is required, hindi nila masubmit or they cannot submit their form unless they fill in the needed information. So, next, let's say for your profile, you need the sex. So, this time, may option na siya. So, it's either, so you can see here, there are already suggestions. So, male, option one, and female. So, gina-generate na ni Google Form. So, if your profile is made up of these, so okay ka na. This is your section one. So, we will proceed to the part two of your questionnaire. So, to do that, go here. So, di ba may plus button? That's the add question, import questions, add title, add image, add video. You go to the last one, which is add section para ma separate para hindi sila ma confuse so click add section and you will open a new section for your google form so entitle this part 2 so for example in my case my ri my part 2 is on stress level so isulat ko na da siya so in the description write your instructions so instructions Please read the statements about common stressors below and click the answer which applies to you. Please choose only one answer for every item. So, that's your instruction. So, are na? Section, title, part 2, stress level, instruction. So, we need to add our first question. Oops, sorry. So, our first question, let's say, is. So, all you need to do is copy what is already in your approved RI and transfer it here sa Google Form. So, let's say, ang first item mo is, I feel stressed when I study on my when i study so what are your options so you will see that google form has suggested so kung amo man ng inyo choices you can just click so masugod ko sa strongly agree agree wala ko neutral so i will just choose disagree and strongly disagree kung wala man da iya sa suggested you can simply type okay so there's nothing wrong with that there's no problem with that so ara na siya so, you need this. You need this information. So, click required. Okay? Ay, na required na siya. So, para masapos sa imo, simply duplicate this question para i-edit mo na lang. Kay same choices man na. Eh. Same responses. So, duplicate. And then, all you need to change is the question itself. So, I feel stressed when I talk to my parents. Oh, so, you see, ara na, na-require na siya, ara ng choices. And then, another, last. I feel stressed when I think about my future. That's it. So, let's say na type mo na di ang, you've already typed all the 15 or 20 questions in your part 2. Okay? So, here, you have a part 3 pa. Let's say, hi, your RI has a part 3. So, again, add. Click this one. Add section. And then, put the title of your section. Part 3. Academic success. So, let's say, parehas man lang ang in mga instructions. So, you can just go back here. Sorry. Copy the instructions. And paste it here. Edit lang. Please read the statements about academic success below. And click the, click the answer which applies to you. Please choose only the answer, one answer for every item. So, the same. Tapos na ang instructions and title. Click add question. So, ano naman ba? Let's say, um, I... I have a grade, I have received 
a grade higher than 89. Let's say. So, ang option ko is not this on the suggestions. So, um, pwede man. Let's say yes, no ka lang din. So, may yes ka din. May no ka da. Okay, next. So, again, i-require, duplicate. I have received a grade lower than 75. So, yes, no naman. So, this, this is just a sample, okay? So, once you're done, let's say na-type mo na that, and then you're finished with all of that, you still have settings here. So, go to the settings. It's beside the send button. So, if you want to collect email addresses para malimit to one response per um, per respondent, pwede man siya. Pero, it's going to limit naman kung sino pwede mo ma-answer. Uh, so, I suggest hindi na lang. So, hindi mo na lang na siya pag-i-click. But here, you can allow them to see their answers when they submit it. So, check mo ang see summary charts and text responses. So, save. If you want to change the color and stuff, you can go here, customize theme. So, gusto mo be green ang color, gusto mo be gray ang background, or amo na siya, hala man. You can also change the font style, pero I suggest na since this is a research, use lang the basic or the formal. Pero medyo light si formal, so I think si basic mas okay. So, once you're good with that, just click the X and to see how your Google form actually looks like, kung isend mo na siya si more respondents, click the I icon here for preview. And it will direct you to a preview of your test. So, example ha, um, answer ko. Okay. So, ala. So, mag-next sila, mag-go sila sa next section. So, let's see, enter, enter, enter lang siya. Okay, since this is required, kailan nang ginila sabton? Kaya hindi sila ka-next kung hindi nila ma-answeran. Then, so once they're done, they will click submit, and there you go. So, if you're good with how your Google Form RI looks like, and na-approve na siya, you click the send button, and this icon right here, the copy icon, click that. And you will be given a URL. So, click shorten URL para nubo lang siya. And then, copy. So, once you've copied that, you can send it to your target respondents. Okay? So, you can send it via messenger. Para pag-click nila, madirect mo lang na sila sa form ninyo. So, kamuya, diri nyo na iya makita. So, if you go back to your main page, makita nyo kung pila na ang naka-respond. So, if you click responses, ara, makita nyo da sa sex, kahit ako palang isa. Kita mo na da ang percentage. So, it's easier for the results and discussion na part. So, ari man din pila ang nag-answer ang musina per question. There you go. So, I hope this helps you. Again, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment or if you know my personal account, you can send me and if you're my student, you can send me a private message. So, thank you!